your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Good evening, I'm Trish Close. I'm Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. The May ballots are out, and the big issue in Josephine County is a proposed safety levy. County's law enforcement says the levy is a must. If it doesn't pass, a county struggling with cuts will see even more. Houston's Caitlin Conrad has details in tonight's Up Story at 6. Rick, Trish, this is the second May in a row Josephine County has tried to pass a levy. When last year's failed county law enforcement got the axe, and Sheriff Gil Gilbertson says if this one doesn't pass, he'll have to make even more layoffs. Enforcing the law in Josephine County is no easy task. Almost 83,000 people live in the county, which spreads over more than 1,600 square miles. Right now, the sheriff only has three non-contracted patrol officers. He says the county needs this levy to pass. We were hoping that it would bring back some deputies, uh, both in the patrol and in the jail, so that we can better do our job. Sheriff Gil Gilbertson says it will be up to the commissioners how the levy would be split, but he's hoping to get 65% of the funds and at the very least keep current staffing levels. If the levy doesn't pass, uh, we will not be status quo. Since the last levy failed, crime has been on the rise in Grants Pass, with burglaries up 67% and theft up 78%. He says if 17-49 fails, it could get worse. Well, I'm going to end up laying people off. Uh, which will only exacerbate, you know, uh, an ongoing problem. Which could be one reason why the county commissioners are taking a more active role in getting the levy passed. This time around, individualized postcards were sent out to property owners. From the assessment program, we had the uh, homeowners name their um, address, the property value, what their value would be next year. Postcards outlining how much the measure would increase tax payments. To tell homeowners that are also voters what their impact of the levy might be. Gilbertson says even if they get new tax revenue, it will still take time for the county to get back up to speed. It'll take us a couple of years to get back to where we were. He says it takes three years to train a new deputy, one reason why surrounding agencies have benefited from past cuts. We train them, somebody else takes them. He says the levy could put a temporary stop to that. It's better than what we've got now, but it, it's, it's, it's not enough. The sheriff says since 2007, there have been no requests for raises from any of his deputies. Covering your news, Caitlin Conrad, News 10. In addition to funding the sheriff's office, the levy would provide funds for the district attorney's office. According to county leaders, the levy would mean 61 cents per day for the average homeowner. Josephine County has a muddled history when it comes to passing tax levies aimed at improving public safety. Six public safety tax levies have been on the ballot since 2004. Only half of them have passed. County's most recent levy attempt hit the ballot last May and was defeated with 57% of the vote. You can find the latest updates to this story on our website. Just go to KTVL.com.